All right, welcome again. This is setting up team manager for the individual teams. This program should be used by the coaches to set their entries for each week's meet and for championships, the dentist meet and results. Okay, so this is a new database that I had opened. I went to file, open as new. Okay, came up, I named it demo. I say open. It's going to ask me, you cannot use that. So I'm going to cancel that. All you do is to set up the name. Okay, now we're set up. I go to Setup, Preferences, and I click on System Preferences. All right, and now I can set up my stuff here, and I go Gender first, Men and Women, Boys, Girls, whatever one you want to do. Male, Female probably is your best bet. Show ages, show birth date, show school uh, school year. I don't know so much that you need that. Last name first, yes. Show only faster time, not necessarily. Use relay leadoff splits, no. Use state, use province, can leave that. Uh, back up every seven days. Default registration. All right, so we're going to go USS. Okay. We're going to go default team type is an age group. Default country, we are USA. Okay. Default long short course, like this one, we're going to scroll down here to the unknown. All right. Default state, we'll say PA. We go default city. Um, be honest, which I don't concern you. I'm putting Dingman's because um, that's where I'm at. You can put Milford, Shahola whatever one you want then I put the zip code two, six. the meet start date uh, meet age update so I would do July 4th okay and I click that button that's our meet age up I set it here also to July 4th all right um, my age up, okay. Your age for a specific meet from the meets from or from a specific form. Age up athletes to system age up date of July 4th. Yes, and then I say, okay. Now I'm good. I come to athletes. All right, you must add at least one athlete. So I'm going to go to. Next thing we do is we'll go to teams. We'll click there. You'll see there's no teams in here. We're going to add a team, all right, and then you do whatever team you would like to do. In this case, I will do uh, Lake Adventure, all right, abbreviation AL, full team name, okay, we'll add that in there. short team name, I'll leave blank, age, team tape, age, division, mailing information, blah, blah, blah. Don't need any of this stuff here. Pretty good with just that. Okay, now it blanks to, goes to a screen It looks like nothing's here. That's fine. That means you're going to add the next team if you're keeping more than one team on here. You hit cancel, and you see here that I now have Lake Adventure in the team. This little arrow button here will bring me back you could also, if you want to add your coaches' names, there's a way to do that. You add coaches here also, okay, and you put their information there. Um, totally optional. Uh, it's up to you guys what you want to use with it. Okay, we click these little arrows here, and it brings me back. I'm now at the main page, okay. Once you have the team in, your next step here is to go to athletes, okay. You have to have the team in before you can do athletes comes up again to a blank sheet because there are no athletes in here we go back to the add button and we click on add okay so the amount of information you put here is totally up to you um, you can do labels and things like that so if you wanted to do a mass mailing list you could do all right um, I'm just gonna go with Mooney Dennis, okay, no middle, no preferred, birth date will be 07, 12, and 
let's go 1999 okay and then we go age 13 all right um the rest of the stuff that's your call what you want to put in okay i think you do have to put member of okay so uh, uh oh excuse me i did not put over here your gender it's male okay athlete cell you all have that we don't need that in here now i'm going to click team la and i'm going to say i think i can go okay here all right again screen goes blank you add your next athlete all right you hit cancel and you see there's one athlete in here all right now you set this up you have all your athletes in here all right when you're done with that you can then start to set up the meet and your uh, meat sheets and who's going to be in what meat. All right, so I'm going to save that for a different video. This video is pretty much getting team manager started from scratch. The thing I want to show you in this though is to save this step all the time is that I would recommend you do a backup. All right, when you're all done with them, even when you get all the athletes in, do a backup, save it somewhere so if your computer crashes or we update team manager, all you have to do is a restore and find that file and it'll put all your information back in all right it's probably good to have it on two computers somebody's down I mean I get a lot of that uh, my computer's not working it should be on another computer hopefully a desktop somewhere and you just load that up okay so the next video we'll look at is how to set up meets and entries all right thank you